You know, every time I'm bored, I go apply or I do some research or I try to learn something that I I don't already know about, you know, whether it's a different roofing component that I'm not familiar with or different things like that. Just, you know, every time you're bored, use your time wisely as far as, you know, joining a new roster or reaching out to someone maybe you, you'd like to work with that hasn't gotten back to you yet and say, hey, it's raining outside. I was just wondering if if there's anything that I could help you guys with. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Yeah, you basically have been in this about three years then, right? Yeah. Including this season, yeah. so it's like three seasons, we'll say. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so what would you say is like, if you had to pick maybe two things that you feel kind of moved the needle the most for you as a, as a new adjuster that helped you to kind of be successful, what would those two things be, you think? Um, the connections that I've made, uh, I ended up becoming friends with a bunch of kind of senior managers, not even with my firm, just at the same hotels. They would be out drinking beer, smoking cigarettes, and I smoke cigarettes, so I'm out there. And I happen to meet a bunch of people that have, you know, if I have a question of, should I apply to this company or should I maybe take this class or whatever, they've they've guided me a lot along the way of that. And um, gosh, the second thing would that be? You know, every time I'm bored, I go apply or I do some research or I try to learn something that I I don't already know about, you know, whether it's a different roofing component that I'm not familiar with or different things like that. Just, you know, every time you're bored, use your time wisely as far as, you know, joining a new roster or reaching out to someone maybe you, you'd like to work with that hasn't gotten back to you yet and say, hey, it's raining outside. I was just wondering if if there's anything that I could help you guys with, you know. Definitely just keeping in touch with people is super important. Gotcha. So so basically, in this case, networking and sort of like seeking out mentors that you can ask questions of and, and that can give you guidance and not not really right. acting like or feeling like you're sort of isolated and, you know, you're just and it's like it, you can feel that way. And I'm sure you felt this. But like when you're out in the field working, it's like you're just by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And if there's there's downtime, you know, a lot of the the things that I see on these Facebook pages and people saying, well, I don't have experience. I don't know how to break into the industry. When people say experience, you know, they don't necessarily just mean adjusting experience. They mean relevant experience. So when I had downtime, I went and I got a job with a general contractor and I was writing supplemental estimates for them. And it wasn't really an adjusting, like I didn't work for a firm but I was still working for the carriers. So there's so many opportunities out there to still gain experience while you're not deployed or working daily claims or anything like that, that you're gonna, you're gonna learn stuff. Like I've never seen a fire claim before. And I had to call all those people that I had those connections with and say, what am I walking into? What am I really looking for? You know, and if I wouldn't right. have had them to call and, you know, 10 o'clock at night, I guess adjusters are some strange reason still working at that hour. Crazy people. <laughs> but yeah, if I wouldn't have had them to call and say, hey, you know, I'm doing this. I don't want to walk in and be like, oh, my God, look at your house, which I kind <laughs> of did. But I looked to the side when I said, holy, you know, so. Uh, right. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. But it's so, yeah. So th for sure. And so and, and so taking. It sounds like kind of taking your sort of education and your like your skills building into your own hands and not sitting around waiting for somebody to be like, all right, we'll go to this training now or yeah. sending you stuff. You're like, I'm going to I'm going to dig into my network and and ask them what I need to learn. And then I'm going to yeah. go and try and find it myself. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.